This is one of my beautiful ladies I have known for 12 years. She's normally in every five to six weeks. We do a full baby highlight. She loves her blonde. This go round, she wanted something different. The new growth is definitely out of control. We're going to do a full baby highlight, baby low light with a base touch. So I wanna make sure that I protect around her scalp we go ahead and put on a protector so she does not walk out with a color line. I don't want any of my ladies leaving and going out with a color line. I don't foil like most. I always do my side quadrants first and then my back quadrant and then my top. So because we're doing a highlight low light with a base touch and she wanted to see the dimension in her hair, I am weaving tiny, tiny pieces and then applying a high and then a low and in between I'm doing a base touch. When you do the base touch, you want to feather it in so you don't have a line of demarcation. I wanna make sure that all of my foil is completely saturated but not oversaturated so that the foil should move. So now that I finished the side quadrants and the back quadrants, I move to the front, the very top of the head. It is always the last part that I foil or color. I wanna make sure that I blend that base touch and then again, very tiny pieces so that she gets the added dimension that she's looking for. Because she's already blonde, I am doing a one-to-one -one ratio between highlights and low. Because she's still going to have a lot of blonde, she just wants a tiny bit of dimension with a little bit of a shadow. So we're just gonna finish up this panel and then she would process for 30 minutes. Look how beautiful this is.